Here we go. Um, the rate of change uh, is found uh, by taking uh, the slope say uh, this, the average rate of change uh, is okay what's the equation for slope back from grade nine don't let your brains hurt, okay? Do not let your brains hurt. What's slope going to be from grade 9? Wow, go ahead. Very good. Okay, we're going to do this a little bit differently in advanced function, just because I'm cool. I do not like the word uh, y. I do not like the word y2. Since we're in function, what am I going to call y2? What's the way I can use y2? Go ahead. <laughs> now that's frightening. Okay. So what I seek in is uh, is a line on the graph. I'm going to draw a quick little sketch where we can see. So here's my example. So what a secant is going to be is that line right there. That would be it. Okay. So you find the slope of that. So this would give you a secant. It gives you the average rate of change. Next semester, what we're doing is we're doing a similar thing, but instead of using two points for calculus, so we're using one point. Okay, which is weird. How do you do that? One point. Can okay, you do it? Yes, you can. I'll work on how we do that in a little bit. Okay, so you get the idea of what we're doing here. If you have a messy looking graph, you want to pick two points in order to. No, not too much. I'll just show you what we're doing this year. For any graph that we're going to choose, if I want to find the rate of change between these two, I pick two points on the graph. Use calculus the slope. That's all we're doing here. Okay? Except for instead of using nice things like y equals mx plus b, which you did in grade 9, we're going to be using things like y equals 2 thirds x to the 4 plus blah, 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 blah. Don't be afraid. You can do that. There we go. Example 1. Example 2. Uh, my son Jack is a fine human being. His favorite thing in the world is Thomas the Train. Okay, that's what he likes more than well. His father is number one, of course, but number two is Thomas. Okay, number two is <laughs> Thomas the Train is not good though, anyway. Okay, so we're going to say the path of a toy train.
is modeled by S equals um, 2t to the fourth minus 3t cubed. That's right. Let me write properly. Uh, plus 2t uh, plus 4. Uh, find the speed of the train okay so we have a messy um, I guess I'm just going to let down for I'm too excited talking about Thomas makes me happy <coughs> So we have a messy um, uh, quartic function there, and I want to find the average speed. Okay. Do that. Okay. So I heard somebody saying, Fox was saying, speed is distance over time. Physics means right. Okay. So what we're going to say is the distance in this case is equal to s. That's your distance. Your time is going to be t. So we're exactly going to use the same equation we're going to do here. Can someone be brave and look back to the previous board and work from your brain? And tell me how you find the equation of slope from that line. What's the general equation for slope going to be in advanced functions for a second? Go ahead. In this case, I'm going to use S of 5. <coughs> Minus s of two, all over five minus two. Oh, how are you? Well, we're not here. Advanced functions. Is that? What are you learning about today? We're learning about. Oh, I don't have time. What are you learning about? Who can I quiz here? Matt, what are you learning about? Beacons. What about? Beacons. Beacons. <laughs> What's a beacon? Well, it's going to be for slope of the graph. That's the slope at any point on the graph. Good. All right, we'll let you get back to what you're doing. You can come by any time, Mr. Venturi. I don't see a visit that much anymore. So. Oh, okay. Sorry to interrupt you more Okay, so did you see what we said here again? Okay, if you're looking at the distance, if you're looking at the average rate of change from 2 to 5 seconds, find again the distance after 5 seconds up to S of 5 means S of 2 is going to be your distance after 2 seconds. So, yes, we're okay on the logic here. All of this is remember for functions, right? If I say s of 5, it's going to be your y value when x equals 5. Okay, that's all we're saying for that, right? When you say s of 2, that's going to be the y value when x equals 2. That's a lot of reason here for this. In fact, the last year, yes? Okay, on the sideboard, I'm going to calculate what s of 5 is over here because it's way too much work to do. And when I say me, I mean you guys. If you look what I'm doing here, okay, as I'm just plugging in different x values here to calculate out. Now, you guys are the ones with the calculators, though, so you guys are going to hopefully figure that out for me, please. Yeah. Bailey is going to pick S of 5 for me. And <coughs> my think it's going to be S of 2 for me here, please. Okay. Of course, all of you are doing this in your calculator. Okay, right, but those are the two people like that time. So think of this just like the after x stuff from before from last year, studying different values for x is the equation. That's all we're doing. Too much? Okay, ask. All right. No, please ask. Please ask. Okay? Yeah, and then minus 3 times 5. Yeah. So this is a big calculation. There's no advanced functions. You have calculators. Okay. You guys can do this. Try to plug out it first. Okay, guys, play along, please. Play along. That's the point of anybody. 
Uh, I'm going to import a pair of Solana here if you don't mind. If you don't really calculate it, it looks like this. Okay, where you have a hole, you have two digits, you don't need a bottom row and a top row, you can type in your whole top row. Um, you should probably get one like this, okay? It just makes your whole life a lot easier. So, once this one costs, I'm going to save $17 for the right numbers right here. Okay, $14.99, okay, which is the right size. Okay, so, but again, that took no difficulty at all. Just type it in. Uh, S2, Jesse, did you get that many chance? I got 16. Well, that was nice. Somebody confirm Jesse's answer? We're good? Okay, so what that means is after two seconds, what does that mean? What does S2 equal 16 mean? Yeah. So what does it mean? Distance when? At two seconds, the train is 16 meters or 16 centimeters or whatever. Jack, do 16 millimeters, okay? After five seconds, what is the train? Okay, play along, please. 889 units, okay, right? So it's gone at each distance, okay? So we're going to say this is equal to S of 5 was 889 minus 16 over 3. Okay, now I'm going to slow down and let you guys get that written down because the therefore statement is what I need to make sure you know what this means. Because on your test, there is no cheat sheet, there is no formula sheet, I'm not going to give you that equation back. This is like a fundamental one you'll also need for calculus, this one, okay? What does that 291 actually tell us? Go ahead. The average distance per second. The average distance per second, yes, okay? What's another way for those who are in physics to you know what distance per second means? What's distance per second? Velocity, okay. is 291. So every second they go on average 291. Yes? Um, you want us to put in like the actual base unit for velocity? Units per uh, if I give you meters and all that stuff, right, it doesn't say, right? Okay, but if I would, if I could, then I would. Yeah. No, I'm not mean like that. Like, don't you like microgrons for whatever? Like, I don't know what the standard, I'm not a physicist, like, I'm not a doctor. Uh, just go with the meters I give you. If I want anything weird, I'll say, for, please provide the answer in this, right? If I want anything weird, okay, but I'm not really that. Okay, so here's the thing that's the average speed for two to five seconds. How can I get a more accurate speed for how this is what Calpus gets into, and this is what you guys are thinking about now? If I wanted to find his exact, his being the train's exact speed of two seconds, how can I do that? Two people are thinking and willing to take a risk. Brian, are you willing to take a risk? How can you find a more exact after two seconds of speed? Go ahead. You would take the x and y value of the train. So you would do distance over time for the train from 20 to 2 seconds. Well, that's going to give you what's the time going to be, though. But the, hold on. So what that, hold on a second. They're not quite. Okay, so let's just say you did um, f of, sorry, s of 2 over 2. What's that going to give you? Now that's not going to give you the speed in two seconds. What's it going to give? So you guys, I need you guys to keep the planes awake here, please. Go ahead. That one here? Yeah. Um, will that give you just the velocity at that point? No. That'll give you the velocity from time zero. Okay? So we don't want that. So what that will give you, I mean, let's say my graph looks like this. Okay? What that will give you is this. Okay, which isn't right. How can I get a more accurate secant? So what else can I do? Anyone else want to take a chance here? Go ahead. An instantaneous velocity. How would you find instantaneous? That's what I really want to go to. Um, it has to touch only a single point on the graph. Okay, and good. So how do you do that? Draw a line to that single point. Well, the problem is, well, we still need 
what I was hoping someone would say. That is what we're going to sort of try and do, but we have to cheat, okay? For example, B, what I want you to do is I want you to find the speed, and if you don't know the calculator, I feel through on this question. I don't mean to poo-poo your answer, but I'm going to because in calculus you find methods to do that. Okay, we don't have the method at this time. What you will actually be doing is you'll be wanting the gap between the two points to be zero. Okay, that's what that's what we want to do. Okay, so it's but if you use two minus two, that's an issue right now. So we're doing the next step thing. We're going to use two point one. Okay, or two point zero one, or two point zero 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 one, or something close. You can, that's exactly what we're going to do with the So you can do that, not today, okay, but you're pointed in the right direction. So, here's the thing, Mr. Sadler is cruel. <coughs> Could somebody tell me the equation I have to write out here? Oh, I just want you to find this, so this is a better approximation of the speed of two seconds. So I want to find the average speed for two seconds at 2.1. That should get the speed of the train around in two seconds. I'm not math teacher, I want to give you a question. Instead of finding an average speed over a huge amount of time, I want you to find the speed over the small amount. Okay. How would the equation I'd use for this speed would be what, please? What's the equation? No, oh, I'm not explaining this well. No, not <coughs> not doing this right. You and I are on the I'm, I'm just don't want to just talk to you in this class. You don't do that. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So we got to do f of 2.1 minus f of 2 all over 2.1 minus two, okay? Now before you say yuck, this is yuck, so I'll admit, this is yuck. This is advanced functions or advanced functions of yuck. No offense, okay? I don't think you guys are taking the course right here, but the way to do this is not elegant, okay? So what you have to do, Jesse and everyone else in the class, is use your super duper calculator and do S of 2.1 equals two times 2.1 to the four minus three times 2.1 cubed. Uh, plus 2 times 2.1 plus 4. Can you give me a number, please? <coughs> now, if you don't have a calculator, that, I think most people in the front know at least all have the same calculator, so that's good. Uh, and Jesse has the same one. Um, but that's the type of calculator to make your life a whole lot easier. Okay, with a double with two rows. So take a second and calculate that, and you can do it. <coughs> Point three one, you said? Yep. And that's exact as in what else was or something good? Three one. Three two. That's it? Yeah. Perfect. Good. Okay, so what we're gonna do is your M is gonna be um, nineteen point three one three two minus this is sixteen, right? Is that right? Yeah. All over two point one minus two. So that should turn into 3.3132 over 0 0.1. So M equals 33.32. Okay, because all we're saying in that case is in that 0.1 seconds, he has traveled, the speed being the train has traveled 3.31 meters, or whatever the number happens. All right. in the video and then I'd like you guys to be honest with 